This is a Jet 24, Fox 66, your Erie.com special report. We want to go, uh, good evening by the way, we want to uh, go first off here at the 6 o'clock hour down to Erie City Hall live. Erie's Mayor Joe Schember has requested time um, to speak with the media uh, this evening. Uh, we're not exactly sure what the mayor has uh, decided that he wants to talk about, but we do know that we've been told that it's important and uh, that is why we are going live at Erie City Hall. Are we ready to go down there now? Are we ready? All right. Should I start? Okay. Sergeant Jeff Annunziata of the City of Erie Police Department sent an email to members of the media containing racist and derogatory statements and assertions. I condemn these statements. I am appalled and disgusted by the racial ins insensitivity of his email. This kind of prejudice has no place within the Erie Police Department or within the city of Erie. We will not tolerate discrimination or racism. As mayor of the city of Erie, I am terminating the employment of Jeff Annunziata as an Erie police officer. Our officers take an oath that says, I will diligently discharge duties as a police officer for the city of Erie without partiality, malice, or ill will. When I swear them in, this is the last statement that they must recite, and this is extremely important to me. Our officers must protect and serve all residents. Since taking office in January of 2018, I have been vocal about our vision to create a community of choice that is welcoming and celebrates our rich cultural diversity. Everything that we have done has been focused on that, achieving that vision. We have been working hard to build relationships in the community and to heal the deep scars of racism and prejudice. The views and language expressed in the email diminishes the trust between the police and the community at a time when that trust and partnership is critically needed. Now I turn the microphone over to Chief Dan Smizarni. Chief. I speak for the command staff when I say that we are all sickened by the language of Mr. Annunziata. We took an oath to protect and serve. Mr. Annunziata's language should not be construed as to reflect the rest of the Erie Police Department. Upon discovering the email, I directed Internal Affairs Inspector to perform an internal investigation. Our investigation confirmed that he sent the email, that he sent it from his City of Erie email account, and that within his email, he identified himself as a police officer. I immediately suspended Mr. Annunziata. Though our country was founded with the long-standing principle of freedom of speech, the city of Erie police cannot and will not allow taxpayer money to be used to spread hatred and bigotry. Mr. Annunziata's views are not reflective of the Erie Police Department. His actions, including sending this email, warrants immediate termination. The Erie Police Department recognizes that public trust and confidence in the police is critical to performing effective policing and is achieved through fair and equitable treatment of the public. Thank you. Since this is a personnel matter, the chief and I will take no questions. However, our attorney, Ed Betza, will be available for questions. Does anyone have any for attorney Betza? Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you. Go ahead. Yeah. Attorney, you come up? Yes. Yeah, I wanted to start off by asking you 
through the investigation, were you able to ascertain whether Sergeant Annunziata was working at the time that he sent this email? Uh, he was not working at the time the email was sent, but it was used, uh, he sent it through a City of Erie account. Okay. You expect legal pushback here over this firing. What makes you confident that uh, you have the grounds to do that? Well, I'm not going to comment on, on the grounds. Uh, we believe that it was the right action. Uh, he has a right to grieve it, and he has a right to use the legal process uh, to challenge the city's action today. Is it accurate to say that the bigger concern isn't that he made the statements, but that he made them from a work account that he did the police on? I don't know that it's fair to diminish the statements. The statements themselves are, are significant and, uh, to anyone reading them, troubling. Uh, the fact that it was sent from a City of Erie account is what makes it much more a City of Erie matter. I guess what I'm saying is would it be protected free speech if he hadn't been in that official capacity? It would depend on what was said and what manner and, and how it was said. I can't. Was there between the email being sent and the city taking this action? Uh, I don't know. The, the, I don't have the email, so I don't know the exact amount of time. Uh, but we followed the proper process, uh, which includes um, the investigation and also includes speaking with the individual. Does that include, do you guys speak to the FOP, come kind of them, any discussion with them on this as well? Anytime we meet with a police officer, uh, or any union employee, uh, which could result in discipline, the FO or the union is is apprised. The FOP was apprised of this, and we had the opportunity to meet with both the FOP and the officer. Any indication that they will fight this? Uh, no, I mean, it's their legal right to do so, um, but they have not indicated uh, what they wish to do at this point. This just happened. And given that this email shows like, a pretty clear racial animus on the part of Fernando um, Manziata, do you have any plans to the city? That's not something that I'm privy to at this point, but certainly the city will always look at any action that it's taken to make sure that it was fair and equitable. In the midst of that investigation, what are sort of those key metrics you're looking for? Are, are there boxes you're able to check if yes, this happened, this happened, that happened? Well, I think the first box is did he send it? The answer is yes. Uh, and then the second box was did he use as, as was referred to taxpayer money to send it, he used the City of Erie account. So that now makes it a city matter, and that really escalates uh, the, the concern. But I don't want to diminish the comments. The comments themselves, no matter in which form they're made, are troubling. Yeah, your notification to him came, did that come immediately before this press conference here? Or? It did. And the city ever terminated an officer before based on what an email that has been sent? Uh, I've been I've been here two uh, about two and a half years. I don't know the history. Uh, it hasn't happened in the past two and a half years. Uh, I'm not aware of it, but that that may be the case. However, it's been handled in the past. I guess from our perspective, I don't particularly care. I'm more worried about what's right right now. How do you feel this can help kind of send a message to the community that you guys are working to make sure there is no racial comments being made that the city kind of follows uh, the mayor's in initiative for the city. Uh, the, this whole process is painful and at times can be pretty darn ugly. Uh, but what I think the mayor has always promised and in, in, in the time that I've had the chance and the pleasure to work with the mayor, it's always been open. And as we've seen recently, there have been some ugly moments, but they're all out in the open. And so I, I think that uh, as time goes on and the city continues to see the actions that the mayor takes and the administration take, there will be uh, increasing confidence, not decreasing. Provided that uh, the determination stands and there's not a legal fight that eventually reverses that. Uh, can you explain what happens in terms of uh, benefits, pension, that sort of stuff? Does that cease immediately? Uh, I don't, uh, I'm, it, it does not. I mean, I, I don't know all of the history and, and uh, how long and, and what pension eligibility is with this individual, and it would be inappropriate for me to comment. Thank you. All right, you have just heard from Erie Mayor Joe Schember, the police chief, Dan Spazarni, and the city solicitor, Ed Betza, uh, regarding the termination of 34-year police veteran Sergeant Jeff Annunziata, um, the, uh, the sergeant's termination or firing, uh, the mayor said, due to racist remarks in an email. 
sent to the mayor, um, and Chief Spazzarni said, quote, he was sickened by the language of, and um, I, I noted that he said Mr. Annunziata a couple of times instead of Sergeant, obviously. Um, Jeff Annunziata uh, no longer, as far as the city sees it, a member of the Erie Police Department. They said that an internal investigation revealed the email was sent from a City of Erie account, although Annunziata was not working at the time he sent the email. Uh, Ed Betza said that the FOP has not indicated what they'll be doing next. Um, so just to repeat, um, Sergeant Jeff Annunziata of the Erie Police Department, a 34-year veteran of the department, has been terminated by the city of Erie, by the mayor of Erie, for what the mayor termed racist remarks in an email sent to Mayor Joe Schember. We will have much more on this tonight. We uh, had a crew there. You might have heard our own Chelsea Withers there in the audience asking questions. We'll have much more on this as the story develops this evening. I want to get to some other news making headlines on this Thursday night. A man wanted on multiple felony warrants 